table in front of us started uh, stirring in commotion, and they stood up, and the gentleman, I didn't catch his name, uh, was given the universal help me, I'm choking signal, and, I, and one of the chefs came over and was trying to help him with the Heimlich, and I just, he looked like he was struggling with it, so I stood up and patted him on the back and said, if you don't know what you're doing, I do, because I'm a Eagle Scout. <laughs> so I whipped in there, and uh, the first uh, heave was a test heave, because the guy seemed a little old. I didn't want to break his ribs or anything, so test heave, and then he seemed like he could handle a, a full force heave, so I <laughs> popped it out. And he, uh, he came up to me afterward and said, hey, man, thanks a lot, but you broke my sunglasses. And I said, well, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll see if I can get you a new pair or something. <laughs> but... Uh, uh, it was good. He's good. We're fine. Wife uh, was concerned. I went up afterward and said, my wife wants to make sure that you're okay. And he said that he's fine. And uh, last I saw, he was uh, taking smaller bites, but still <laughs> still, at the, still at the plate. Have you done that before? Have you done the Heimlich maneuver before? You know, uh, I'll go Chip Kelly on you. You know, preparation prepares you. You know, I always had a faceless opponent <laughs> that I prepared against. No, I, I've never done that before. It's just, uh, like I said, uh, Eagle Scout, so you know, shout out to Jeff Bueller and Keith Butico for my Scout Masters <laughs> for How teaching me the Heimlich. I don't know when I was 12, so and you know, quite a while you ago. knew exactly what to do. Well, yeah, you know, that's what you're they'd, they'd take away my uh, my merit badges and my uh, Eagle Scout card if you know, <laughs> it's kind of like the uh, and you know, I, I joke that I'm a that my you know, my doc, my brother's a doctor, so I, I joke that you know, I, that I, you know, I should be in the medical field anyway, but. Uh, never done that before, but it was maybe emergency medicine. Emergency, <laughs> I, I, yeah, you, you know what to do. So you didn't want to have to do it. You know, you never want to have to use something like that. But the guy was struggling, and the guy that was helping him didn't seem like he was getting the job done. So I said, "Yeah, you don't know what you're doing. I do." So <laughs> step aside. <laughs> so what all the guys at your table say? Uh, I'm sitting with Wade and his wife, and so they were just like, "Is he okay?" And I said, "Yeah, he seems okay." You know. Mark, 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 do you, ever, do you ever think about uh, liability issues when you did something? I mean, there are. He you did. Know, something goes he wrong. did. He did mention that to me. He said, "You know, if you uh, if you didn't <laughs> if, you, if what you did hadn't worked, I'd have sued you." And I said, "Okay, thanks." <laughs> so a big piece of meat. He was just choking on me. Yeah, just a big, big piece of Lowry beef. <laughs> I'm Melissa Rowland, reporting at Lowry's for Prime Rib for the Los Angeles Times.